Welcome to Friendly Math 101. Today's lesson is over kites. Let's go over some properties of kites to start with. With kites, there are no parallel sides, but there are two sets of consecutive sides that are congruent, which means these sides will be congruent and these sides will be congruent consecutive sides congruent. Something else we know about kites is that their diagonals are perpendicular. So all the angles here are gonna be 90 when these diagonals cross. Okay, a third thing is that the diagonals bisect the other diagonals. So for this diagonal, it's gonna bisect this diagonal. So these will be congruent. And the diagonals bisect the angles. So this diagonal is going to bisect this angle, which means it's going to cut it in half. So this angle will be congruent to that one. This angle will be congruent to this one. Something else we know about kites is that the opposite angles here are congruent. So this angle is equal to this one. So all these things we're going to keep in mind as we work a couple example problems. So here's the first one. It says find x. So if you notice that uh, this kite, when you draw the diagonals, it splits it into four right triangles because all of these are right angles. So since we have right triangles, we want to use properties of right triangles to solve for things. So what we need to do is figure out x by using Pythagorean theorem. So for this triangle, I can't use Pythagorean theorem yet because I don't know this side here, the hypotenuse. I do know this side here, and I also know with kites, these are congruent sides. So this will actually be 13 as well. So now we can figure out x by using the Pythagorean theorem. So that's going to be a squared, which I'm going to call x, plus b squared, which I'm going to call the 5 here, equals c squared, the hypotenuse. Then we're going to solve. So I'll go ahead and square these numbers. x squared plus 25 equals 169. Subtract 25 from both sides. This is going to zero out. So I get x squared equals 144. And to undo the squared, I want to take the square root. The square root of x squared is x. The square root of 144 is 12. So I have my answer, x equals 12. So in a lot of these problems, you're going to be using the fact that these are right triangles to help you solve. Okay, and our next and last problem is about angles. So it tells us angle ADB, ADB is 37. I want to know DAB. I want to know this whole angle here. So remember, I also know that these are right angles. When the diagonals um, intersect, they make right angles. So I can find this angle pretty easily because this is a triangle. So 37 plus 90 plus I'm just going to call it x equals 180 because they're 180 degrees in a triangle. So that's x. That's what I'm solving for. So we'll go ahead and add 90 plus 37 is 127. Subtract 127 from both sides. And we get x is equal to 53. Now that's not our answer because I want this whole thing. 
So what I know about this diagonal here is that it bisects the angles. That was one of the properties. Since it bisects the angles that it uh, intersects, that means it's going to bisect this angle, which means this angle and this angle are congruent. So they're both x. So to find angle DAB, I need to add 53 and 53 since they're the same. Or just multiply 53 times 2. When I do that, I get 106 degrees. Thank you for watching, and for more math tutorials, please subscribe to our channel, Friendly Math 101.